are setting up for their patented double tombstone. They hit this. This could be over. Will they work together for this? Oh my god! Oh, oh, wait. oh that did not look good. Wait. Burn on the outside. Looking. Wait up. I don't like the way Rollins yeah, is holding his head. Like down here this. Most concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some of this is the effects that happen with a combat sport such as pro wrestling. Uh, there is a very, very strange hush that's come over the crowd. And now the fans starting to chant for Psycho Mike. He's hurt. What's going on? Uh, What's still Bruno doing? Gotta get some he takes fun. advantage of the situation. Two. Ladies and gentlemen, Del Bruno gets the win with backslide, but Rollins is hurt. Like this, this is not good. Rollins, he can have a—he's moving, so I, I don't know if his neck is broken. But yeah. Derek Morningstar signaling to the officials: this, this is not good. Here we go. Thankfully, Hacker angry at Del Bruno for taking advantage of the situation, but all Hacker was trying to do was show concern for Psycho Mike's well-being. They put the hurt on him. Hacker, you don't want to see an opponent injured permanently or injured so severely he can't, can't continue. Oh, this is a bad situation, Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll update you on the status of Psycho Mike as soon as, as soon as we get it backstage. He does not look good, though. Anthony, keep him James. It, it, it takes no medical professional to, uh, to notice that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want to watch this. Oh, man. Oh, that did not look good. No, it didn't. Alpha One fans, um, I take what I do very seriously. And when we're in there, especially in a three way dance, going full out. Stuff happens like that. And me and Scotty, we have a history of a tag team, and we saw the opportunity, and we took it. I didn't mean for Rollins to get hurt or anything of that to happen, but, I mean, in the end, I needed to get that win, and I guess I did. I, I didn't really see that Rollins was hurt because Scotty had pitched me out, but be it what it may be, I'm sorry. Scotty, I know you push me and you're saying you're going too far, but you had the same hand in it as I did. Now we're coming into King of Hearts, and I won the match, so I get to pick my opponent. And I've picked Flip Kendrick, because even though, you know, the Euro Cup is over, I get it. The King of Hearts is coming up, and that's one tournament that I, the Italian superstar, am going to take. Now Flip... You've been around the world on TNA recently. You are the epitome of what I need to beat in this tournament. So that's why I picked you. And we're going to tear it up night one. Now I might even see Scotty in night two. We'll see what happens. But King of Hearts tournament, it's mine. Alpha One, King of Hearts, Aeroform is here. Scotty O'Shea, Mr. Bruno, you about to see some kicks, some flips, some poses. Listen, we came here to win. I came here to win. That's it and that's all. We out of here, my baby son. I ain't swinging at no kids. I am flipping the script, son. What does the King of Hearts tournament mean to me? Well, being the guy who actually got to name the tournament, that's one thing, but being the guy who's gonna win the tournament is another. Uh, Lewis Linden, you can bring your palm strike, you can bring your crane here, but uh, I gotta take this and I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, for the past couple months, I've been stuck in this purgatory in Alpha 1, you know? I was, I was maybe not the Alpha Male Champion, but I was the Alpha Dog in A1 for a long, long time, and now, you know, I'm kind of stuck in lower mid-card status, but just stuck there, and I need to get out. And you don't really understand how bad I need to get out. So you're in my way, I gotta get you out of my way, I gotta copy and paste that W in the win column, and I gotta be the 2012 King of Hearts champion.
Dukes could be setting up. Pitches off. Sugar to the oh. back of the leg, dumped it to the back of the head. External occipital protuberance. Oh, well done. Grill him on soon. Alive and well, the memory anyway. Tyson reaches the ropes. Referee Cassidy's got to break this. No! Oh. oh, he's got a great find now. Huge submission. The all ego lock. How lock it, Tyson? Oh. He does it. He taps. Do you even call that an upset? Here is your winner, Ethan. After July 8th, I've had a lot to think about. One, uh, my recent success. This is kind of odd for me. I haven't really had a winning streak in, well, since the entourage. But here I am with two solid victories. And I submitted both of them. And I know some of you might be thinking, Ethan Page, you're not some submission specialist. I'm not, but I found my secret weapon. And that's the K-West Clutch. Ashley Six, you found yourself tapping out to it, and now one of the biggest technical wrestlers in the world, Tyson Dukes, found yourself tapping out to all egos, K-West Clutch. But no one's talking about that. What people are talking about is Joey Kings versus Josh Alexander on night one of the King of Hearts. Well, on that same night, I'm gonna be advancing to the second round. Just like the other two, BJ Whitmer, you're going to be tapping out to the K-West Clutch. And Joey Kings, I wish you the best of luck. But I promise you, you're not ready for Josh Alexander. You know what? I'm not ready for Josh Alexander. When I win that tournament and I have that trophy in my hands, my confidence will indefinitely turn into an ego. And then all ego will be the one to beat Josh Alexander. July 28th, I make my return to Canada for the first time in over six years. It's Alpha One Pro Wrestling and the King of Hearts Tournament. Ethan Page, let me tell you something. I don't show up to these tournaments to be taken lightly. I show up to win these things. So everybody, why don't you show up in Hamilton July 28th and 29th and watch one of the greatest athletes in this business, B.J. Whitmer. July 28th, OI4K, we invade Canada Checkmate, we're coming for your tag team titles! You know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down just a little bit and tell you people how honored we really are we to are be coming honored. into Alpha. I mean, I am very, very honored to be a part of this prestigious tournament. Checkmate, he's absolutely right. We're gonna come for you, we're gonna take your tag team titles, we're going to show you the way we do it in the United States. We're going to show you the way we do it in Ohio. We're going to represent for the Ohio is for killers. And on the 29th, you're damn right, we're going to give you guys tag title shots. It doesn't matter who they line up. It doesn't matter who they put up against the OI4K. We'll knock them down! That's, well, we haven't had a chance to meet their Steve Dyer's area. We've heard a lot about them recently, and they're quite the tandem of high flyers, so it's going to be a really fast-paced high flyer match, that's for sure. Those guys are making a name for themselves, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. I want to see what these guys can do. I want to see what they bring to the table. I think it's going to be a crazy match. I think it's going to be very competitive, and Alpha One brings in the best competition, so I already know it's going to be one of those matches you need to come and see. So, everyone come and check it out. 